This is Michael Ware. You're listening to The Morning Five, brought to you in partnership with the That Sounds Fun Network, supported by the Center for Christianity and Public Life. Today is Monday, June 26, 2023. Let's begin uh, with uh, reading from Scripture. We'll read from 1 Thessalonians 5 today. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in the darkness, so that this day should surprise you like a thief. You are all children of the light and children of the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So then, let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be awake and sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, putting on faith and love as a breastplate and the hope of salvation as a helmet. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. May God bless the reading of his word. Well, friends, glad to be back for the morning five. Uh, You may have seen the Center for Christianity and Public Life announced our summit for the good of the public uh, will be held in Washington, D.C. on November 6th and 7th. I would encourage you to hold the date on your calendar now. We'll be opening up registration for the uh, the summit in uh, just the coming uh, weeks. I would love to see you there. Uh, I'll tell you more about it. At a later date, you'll see a lot of good information uh, coming out about the summit on social media, at CC Public, uh, CC Public Life, and also um, and also at ccpubliclife.org. But you're you're going to want to be there. Uh, And so again, for the good of the public, in Washington D.C., November sixth and seventh. All right, let's get to the news. First item. On Friday of last week, Yevgeny Prigozhin, who leads the Wagner Mercenary Group, uh, began a short-lived revolt against uh, the Russian government and Vladimir Putin. Uh, He uh, led a march uh, into Russia. The march was... uh, the march began due to Prigozhin's uh, accusations of the Russian military uh, attacking some of his troops. Uh, this was a uh, long simmering tension between Wagner and the Russian military that boiled over. Uh, like I said, the revolt was short lived. A deal was struck over the weekend. Prigozhin will go into exile in Belarus, will not be. Uh, uh, will not face pro- prosecution. Uh, there are some open questions about what uh, troops, uh, what what some of the Wagner mercenaries will face. Uh, though uh, this uh, this crisis, this conflict was short lived. It's another strike against the credibility, the strength of Putin. Uh, at a time when Russia's strength was already questioned due to Ukraine uh, putting up more resistance than many thought, and as Putin and Russian military officials seem to suggest they expected uh, at the beginning of the war. On Meet the Press Sunday, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken uh, said, quote, I think we've seen more cracks emerge in the Rus- Russian facade. It is too soon to tell exactly where they go and when they get there, but certainly we have all sorts of new questions that Putin is going to have to address in the weeks and months ahead. All right, the second news item, uh, a new law in Kenda targets Instagram and Facebook. Kenda will now require tech companies, including social media organizations, to pay local news outlets for attaching links to articles on their websites. The Canadian Parliament's law passed Thursday is a push to force larger companies like Google and Facebook to pay for the news that they share for free on their platform. However, Facebook and Instagram say that they will pull news articles completely from both platforms in Canada. 
Essentially, the law requires these larger companies to engage in a bargaining process for utilizing news content, binding tech companies up in potential arbitration processes if they don't abide. Third and final news item for this week, uh, let's recap Prime Minister Modi's visit. Uh, in Washington last week, Prime Minister of India, uh, Narendra Modi, addressed Congress, spoke with the president, and met with U.S. and Indian tech executives to discuss key areas for growth. When Modi addressed Congress, he talked about the massive economy of India in comparison to the rest of the world, while the gallery sh chanted, uh, his name. Meanwhile, when Modi was asked about what he would do to improve the rights of minorities, including Muslims, Modi noted that there is, quote, no space for any discrimination uh, in India and in his politics. During the two and a half hours that uh, President Joe Biden and Modi spent together last Thursday, both leaders pointed to areas of economic growth within the two nations and emphasized the fact that trade between India and the U.S. has almost doubled in the last decade. Modi and top tech executives from both countries, including Tim Cook of Apple uh, and leaders from Google and Microsoft and others as well, discussed new defense and technology cooperation on top of deliberations about how to address the growing economic and militaristic threat that China poses in the global sphere. Uh, it, it's key to this meeting and the warm reception that Modi received is the administration, the Biden administration's view that India can help to offset uh, some of the, the weight and power of China. And that's just key to understanding this whole thing. It is notable, though, that during none of his public interactions with uh, uh, the U.S. Uh, this past week did Modi directly refer either to China or to Russia. All right, friends, that's all the news for today. Let's close, as we always do, with prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today, and forgive us our sins and impositions on you, as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad, because you are the one in charge, and you have all the power, and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. All right, friends, hope you have a wonderful day. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for listening. <music>